Yo, what's up guys, it's Derpy Hero, and today I'm trying to figure out how to get more views. So, this was my plan to get more views. Alright, so at the search bar, Weeby News. Good, uh, click on the channel, go to videos, sort by, go to most popular. Well, okay then. So apparently most people's favorite part about Danganronpa is the executions, which is kinda scary. I don't know why people like executions so much. For me, this is one of my least favorite parts because, I mean, students are getting executed. That's very, very scary. But, I mean, this is what gets views. So, yeah, I'm gonna rank all the Danganronpa executions from worst to best. Now this is only going to be for the main three games, Trigger Happy Havoc, Goodbye Despair, and V3. I'm not going to count the execution at the beginning of Trigger Happy Havoc uh, with Trigger's dad. So yeah, I'm not doing that one. That would probably be in last anyway. So it's only going to be 18 executions, one from every chapter of the three main Danganronpa games. So let's get right into it with number 19. Now I think everyone knows which one's going to be at the bottom here. It has to be me Katsumiki's execution. I mean, what did I just see? It's a fan service execution, which is weird. Why is she getting more fan service when she's about to die? Not only that, this one's very anticlimactic. I mean, she just goes up in the sky and that's it. I mean, I guess it fits the song. She's reaching out to the stars, but yeah, that's just very anticlimactic. It's probably the shortest execution in the game, in all the games. So yeah, this one is definitely at the bottom spot here. Wait a minute. Kazuichi? Are you smiling at the fact that Nikon got executed? Well, actually, it makes sense. You know, she was kind of insane at the end. So it makes sense why he'd smile. I guess he was fed up with her insanity. So yeah, I get it. I get it. In at number 17, we have Gonta Gokuhara's execution. Now this one, the problem is the monocubs. I hate Monotaro and Monophony, so yo, it was so disgusting to see. Like Monophony got pregnant, and then out, out came a bug, like a scyther, it was like a scyther, it was legit a scyther, and then that killed Monotaro. It was so, it was disgusting, man. It was just gross to see. And then, yeah, I don't know. I just hate that part so much. So that's why it's so low. The rest of the execution isn't that bad to be honest, but even then it's kind of plain. I guess there's a Wild West theme going on there, but yeah, it's just a plain execution and it's just it's just disgusting to see. So yeah, this one's number 17. Yeah, pretty bad. All right, next up on the list is gonna have to be Leon's execution. And the reason why it's so low is because I think it's too simple compared to some of the other ones that come later on. And I feel like the characters' faces, their reactions to the situation isn't really realistic. I feel like their reactions weren't a more surprised or shocked look than they're actually giving. I mean, some characters like Yasuhiro are not even reacting that much and it. it just doesn't make sense to me. So yeah, that's why this one's so low. I just think the other ones later on get a lot more creative. Now, next up on the list is Mondo Uwana. Now, a lot of you are gonna be surprised and everyone already knows why. Don't get me wrong, the butter twist was really shocking. I did not see that coming. No way I saw that coming. But the rest of the execution is pretty plain, in my opinion. You know, he just gets in the motorbike, rides in the cage. I guess the scenery is pretty unique. The background, like Monokuma dancing, uh, the tigers, it's like a circus kind of. So that's cool. But I just feel like other executions had more to them. Next is Kaede's. Now this one's brutal. I like the thought process behind it, how she's like hung and she's kind of playing the piano notes. And everything about this one is good actually, but I just feel like other ones went a mile more. But I would have to say, Mono Kid at the end surprised me. I did not expect that to happen. I did not expect his head to just cut off. I did not expect him to die. That was crazy. That caught me off guard. But other than that, this one's still pretty normal to me in my opinion. Well, buckle up for another surprise again. Maybe, I think, I don't really know how much you guys like this one, but I'd expect a lot of you guys to like it a lot, and that's going to be Chiaki Nanami's execution. 
Now this one is very interesting. I mean, she's a gamer. They brought back all the retro popular games from back in the day. You know, we got Space Invaders, we got Pac-Man, we got Tetris. Obviously, that's how she gets finished off. And yeah, the whole execution is pretty cool, right? I'm not gonna lie. A lot of them are just above this because they're better. But one thing I do think is kind of weird for this execution is Chiaki's reactions to everything. Her reactions seem a bit delayed at the start, uh, during the Space Invaders part. And then in the Tetris part, she's shutting her eyes during that Tetris part. You could see it. But then soon after, she opens them. She opens them again, and then the block falls. And her reactions to everything are just weird. Is she scared? Is she not scared? What's happening? I know she's an AI, but still, I don't really get her reactions to what is going on. So if someone can sort of clarify her reactions to this, uh, put in the comments because I'm really not sure the reactions don't make sense to me, but that's the only reason why it's so low on the list Okay, is Kazuichi sad this time? Uh, oh Nope, guess not. I guess you know, he was paranoid about the traitor. He thought the traitor was evil So I guess he's just relieved that the traitor is gone now. I'm guessing Yeah, that's how I'll defend him for this one all right, in the number 12 spot, we got Junko Enoshima's execution. Now, I thought this would be way lower, okay? Like, before I even looked at the executions again, when I was just thinking about them, I thought this was going to be very low on the list because it's just essentially a repeat of the executions we had before. But now, just looking at it again, it's so bizarre. I mean, how is she surviving everything? She survived the 10,000 blows, the motorcycle cage, the burning of the witch, all the executions. She just survived them, and I have no idea how she did it. But yeah, it's just so bizarre, and it's very interesting to see how Junko actually likes dying, I guess. It's just, it's just crazy. That's the only reason why it's up so high. It's just a crazy execution. And yeah, it was just insane seeing that again. I didn't even expect to have a really big reaction to it, but yeah, it was, it was a sight to see. It was a sight to see. So that's why it's near the middle of the list. Next up, we got Teru Teru's execution. Now the thing I like about this one is the aesthetics. The visuals are really good. Well, look at this. Kazuichi is smiling mid-execution. That is kinda insane. I guess he just doesn't want another pervert around. I don't know, maybe he won't smile afterwards though. We'll see, we'll see. I like the first shot where you see all the classmates, all his classmates just, you know, in a group, they're bunched together. I especially like the one scene where you see the helicopter carrying Teru Teru behind like the sunset background and it's just it just looks very nice. Uh, the helicopter attacks are pretty cool. I expected him to just get blown up by that but no it was kind of like condiments and then you know he gets deep fried. So a lot of things were happening. I especially like the ending scene where you see the back of all the characters. And I don't know, it's just such a good looking shot. So so this execution is mainly here just because of the visuals, man. The visuals are just, ooh, they're so good for this. That's the reason why it's near the middle of the list. Nope, he's still smiling. Well, great. Next up, we got Junko Enoshima's second execution. I don't even know if you'd count this as an execution or not, but I did because she's technically getting defeated here. And for chapter six of Danganronpa 2, this is basically the most we can get as an execution. So for this one, I like it a lot just cause it's kind of like a boss battle. I don't know, this just reminds me of boss battle. Like you're pinning down the hands, then you're taking out the body. And Usami's just a boss here. I mean, I don't really like Usami or Monami, but hey, she did her work here and it was, it was just really fun to see Junko getting destroyed. Why couldn't Usami just do this in the beginning, huh? Like she could have done this to Monokuma, right? But she didn't, I don't know why. I don't know why, but hey, at least the execution looks cool. So yeah, that's why it's in the 10th spot. Now in the number nine spot, we have the detention execution, the one for Kyoko and Makoto. Now I decided to put these together because they're technically the same execution. I know it ends differently with Makoto being saved by uh, the AI, Alter Ego, and Kyoko's not saved, but I'm just basing it off the actual execution that Monokuma gave us. And there's actually a difference here, believe it or not. Uh, Kyoko's execution and Makoto's execution have different music, which is weird. I've ne I never noticed this, but I caught the music and it, it was different. I don't understand the change, 
I don't understand why they changed the music, but I will say I like Makoto's music a bit more. Now, the reason why it's just up high at the ninth spot here is I just love the tension. The, the block's just pounding on the ground, and then their facial expressions are changing. I love it. And then obviously there's the sex ad lesson, which is pretty funny. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think anyone catches that in their first playthrough though, because I mean, you're just scared. You're actually scared in this trial. You would never expect Makoto or Kyoko to get executed. Like, I did not see that coming. But yeah, it's an. I just love the tension. That's basically why it's here. I just love the tension of the execution. The music in this execution is incredible. Like, it's amazing. Just go listen to it. They both have different music, but they're both good. In the number eight spot, we have the execution that I think most people would rank as number one for their list. And that is Kurumi Toja's execution. Now, don't get me started on this one, because, oh man, Kurumi's will to escape this place is crazy. I mean, look at what she has to go through, all these saw blades and stuff, and she's still going and going. And when she gets to the top, she sees a light, she thinks she's about to escape, and then it's just, it's just like a picture. It's just a cut picture of just a ceiling, and she just falls down. It is the most brutal thing I've ever seen. And yeah, just, just considering how desperate she was to escape, this execution is just painful to look at. Uh, at least you have Monosuke at the end to kind of bring some comedy relief into it and sort of lighten the mood from how dark this execution is because this one is just brutal to look at. It's insane. I just like other executions more to be honest. But yeah, this one's a very insane execution. Definitely deserves its place here at number 8, but I can see why people would put this in their top 5, top 3, or even first place. Next up, we have Karakyo Shinguji's execution. Now this one, the only reason it's up so high is how bizarre it is. It kind of like Junko's. I mean, you're seeing his soul. I I'm confused. Are the kids supposed to see his soul? Like the characters from V3, are they supposed to see that? Or... I'm really confused because you also see sister soul and she's throwing salt at him So if they can't see the ghosts, they're just seeing invisible salt Like like you see what I'm saying? This is such a bizarre execution Other than that though, I like the music change in this one. I like the Japanese uh, Music in the beginning and it sort of intensifies as he's in the melting pot. Uh, that's pretty cool I'm really sad that Monodan died Rip Monodam. I, I I was so sad. I hate Monotaro and Monophony. I, I wish she just put them both in the fire blow. I, I wish she just threw them in there. But no, this guy ran in and commit suicide. It was the saddest thing to see. Yeah, that pained my heart. But yeah, because of the bizarreness with uh, Monokuma and Karekio's sister throwing the salt at Karekio's soul, this has the number seven spot. Well, this one hurts. Number six, Gundam Tanaka. Well, actually, the funny thing is, this is probably one of the easiest for Monokuma to carry out, executions-wise, because he's just on a bunch of animals, and he just rams into Gundam and kills him. But what makes this execution so good is that Gundam's actually doing something, bro. This guy actually has Dark Sorcerer power, bro. This guy, he, he put a spell, spell circle, that thingy, you know what I'm talking about? I don't know, I don't know how to describe it. But that guy actually put up something, and the purple lights, bro, it looked so cool. Obviously it failed, it failed, but I mean, we saw something. He was doing something, okay? That was cool. And at the end, where he dies, and then the animals from heaven, bro. We, we everyone knows he's not an underworld guy. Everyone knows he's he's not from the underworld. Ever, everyone knows he's not a hellish villain, but he has the persona. But now he's going up to the overworld, bro. It, it was so cool to see. The animals, oh, that was so sad. The hamsters, oh, that was, that was so sad. So sad to see. But yeah, I also like the aesthetic of the tropical island again. Uh, same thing with Terra Terra's, as I said before. So yeah, number six, well deserved for Gundam Tanaka. Now we're getting to the really big ones, top five. And number five, we have Kaido Momota. Dude, this guy's execution was a big throwback. Big throwback. We went to the first execution, guys. The space execution uh, with Kirigiri's dad. 
Oh, it was so cool to see. But then another twist. This guy goes down. He starts going down into the Earth's core. And he keeps going. And he sees the best characters of Dang Naropa, Mr. Moon, and Miss Planet. And then another twist. He dies to his illness. Which is just insane. Because he dies to his illness and the execution fails. Monokuma is angry. And then we also see interference with uh, Kibo and the rest of the class. But Kibo's antenna gets hit off. Man, so many things happened. It was a big throwback, first of all. And then just Kibo's antenna getting knocked off. That's set up chapter 6. So I like how this execution set up chapter 6. And yeah, it was just cool to see. It was a very plot relevant execution. And yeah, so many things just happened. It was so cool to see. Man, I love this one. This one's definitely top 5. In number 4, we have the AI's execution. Alter Ego's execution. Why is this at number 4? It's the music, okay? At the start, it sounds ominous. And nothing's happening. You wait. Nothing happens. Why is nothing happening? And then one smash, and the music just starts intensifying. And Alter Ego just gets beat up. It's gone. It happens very fast. But that's why I like it. It's actually probably shorter than Mikon's execution. But I just like the contrast between the silence and the ominous music and nothing happening. And then all of a sudden, bam, 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 bam. And Ultra Ego's gone forever. So yeah, it was just a crazy execution. It was fast, but it was kind of satisfying as an execution. We're just kind of, wow, I feel very mean or I feel sadistic for saying that. But yeah, that's why it's in number four. In the bronze spot, we have Celestia Ludenberg's Execution. Now this one also starts with the ominous music. And I don't know what it is about the ominous music, man. But it, it, just, it just goes really good with the executions. And the fire comes out. You know, Celestia Ludenberg's at the top here. And the fire is just rising, rising. She's sweating more. And okay, yeah, it seems like a pretty standard execution. You know, she's just going to get burnt up. And then the fire truck comes in. Monoku is trying to put out the water. And then the fire truck just comes in. It just keeps going. It just keeps zooming in. And boom. Just boom. Celestia gets taken out with the fire truck. This one's just funny. I'm not gonna lie. I sound like a sadist. But this one's funny. Because like he's coming in with the fire truck. He's trying to put out the fire. But he, he kills Celestia with the fire truck. Instead of getting taken out by the fire. And then he puts out the fire. It's just a funny execution in my opinion. And there's a music change too when that happens. And it, it's just... So funny to me, but I mean, it's kind of sad, you know, Celeste dies, but yeah, it's humorous at the same time. I feel so bad. Yo, I need to get my morals checked, bro. What's wrong with me? I think there's something wrong with me, actually. Yo, I have a problem. I have a huge problem. Oh my god. All right, in the number two spot here, we have Kibo's final sacrifice, the last execution of Danganronpa V3. And the reason it's so high is because it just looks very cool. Kibo, when he blows up the school man, he's a total badass. And yeah, even though I'm sad that he self-destructed, I'll admit he looks so cool when he does that. Like that whole sequence just looks so cool. Even I think that it doesn't make sense that he did die at the end. But hey, he did. And it looked pretty cool. Samugi so just um, casually just waving with Monokuma when the rock drops is also pretty cool. And yeah, everything just flowed very nicely in that execution and I just like it just for the visual aesthetic it looked so nice to see you know what I'm saying does that make sense it was very nice to look at even though it was kind of sad I like the little hint uh, that Himiko, Maki and Shuichi were still alive when the rocks were kind of shaking and Kibo noticed that so he decided to save them that was also well done so yeah amazing execution but it still doesn't make it to the number one spot Now in the number one spot, we have Pekko's Execution. Now this one is just crazy in so many ways. First of all, it's unique. I don't think we've ever had an execution where someone else comes in. So Fuihiko actually comes into execution in this one. And he's trying to save Pekko. But the crazier thing is, Monokuma knew that Fuihiko would come in to save her, or else this execution wouldn't work. You see, Pekko's the one doing the slashing here. She's the one that's slashing everything, all these weird dummies. 
And then she slashes Fuyuhiko. She dies thinking that she killed Fuyuhiko. Which is just super sad. It's crazy how Monokuma planned this one out. And yeah, this one just speaks to me on so many levels. I love the relationship between Fuyuhiko and Paco. And it was just so sad to see. I genuinely thought Fuyuhiko died the first time I saw this. And yeah, my heart was broken. This was easily the craziest execution for me. It's not even close. So yeah, this is an easy number one for me. Oh wait, guys, look, he's screaming. He's actually screaming for once. He's sad. He's afraid. I knew Kazuichi was new. He's a good guy. He's a really good guy. You know, he just, just gets a little bit confused sometimes. Oh. Well then. Alright guys, that's gonna be it for today. Uh, that's my list. I know a lot of you will disagree. Uh, so put your list down below. I actually don't know what you guys think about the executions and how you'd order them. So do that because I, I really didn't look at other people's lists or anything before doing mine. And yeah, go check out my Danganronpa Games Rank video. And my Why Yasuhiro Hog Create is Such a Good Character video. There's two parts for that one. Uh, so yeah, go check those out. I will be making more of these, so stay tuned. Peace.